This fool is out. He wants it so bad. He wants to know what's down there so bad. And wants to get up in it so bad. He's, he's, he's hanging outside like Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Smile his ass off. Just give me one more chance. <laughs> he's smiling. Hey, hey just hey, hanging around. Pat. Let me in, Pat. <laughs> we can do the Spider Man kiss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like a vampire out there. Like, Let you me gotta in, invite Pat. me in first. Though. Yeah, come on now, uh, Pat. You know you want this. He, he got called dressed like Pat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pat came to the house and he answered the door. And forgot he was dressed like Pat. Uh, <laughs> my diary's been stolen. My diary's been stolen. <laughs> you get the fro on too. <laughs> You're at DTMerch.com. There's so many other things that you can do over there and see, such as our new videos, new videos that are up on TikTok and up on YouTube. But what I really want you to do is I want you to go and first of all, you can start by looking at that banner in the middle of DT Merch, clicking that. So you can go over to x1entertainment.com slash double dash toasted so you can get tickets for Double Toasted Live in New York City, Brooklyn to be more exact. That's April 1st. And that's going to be a show starting at 8 p.m. at the Roulette Intermedium for a night of comedy, games, and much, much more. You're going to have a great time while you're there. I want to say it is truly an honor having the movie that we're doing tonight as our bad movie roast. It is extremely rare that we have someone, or some movie rather, that has such a glorious title, a rare title of 0% mm -hmm. on Rotten Tomatoes. Not a goddamn person like this movie at all. I mean, you, usually so, like a somebody who worked on the movie would come in and just fake it or something. Or somebody who wants to be a contrarian. Or somebody, right. but no, 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 no. Not even a troll or somebody. Yeah, not even a troll. <laughs> no, trolls like, yeah, trolls said, I don't, even I don't want none of this right here. They say, <laughs> they say feed the trolls, I'm full right now, man. I'm, I'm I've had enough bullshit for today. <laughs> because you would have to write at least two positive things about yes. it. <laughs> And you can't find those. Oh, and ex even the, even the executive would come in and just you know already have an account made to like come in and just add one positive thing. No one, no one could bring themselves to say anything. Everybody just gotta turn their head. <laughs> that honor goes to the one, the only. It's Pat. If you think it's a man, Pat, I'm in a towel. Right. But it was you know. Bras, panties, boxer shorts, jock straps. It's Pat. The movie. That no one asked for. <laughs> the cheap no, ass title card too. No, yeah. Man. Not one person asked for this skit to be a movie. Now there's some movies that, you know, some people say, well, I didn't ask for it, but I can see this being a fun film right here from Saturday Night Live. You know, you got these sketches that end up being films, but this is the one that everybody said, man, you know, this is uh, this is a minute long joke at the at best. I don't, I don't understand what you what you're doing with this. I don't understand what you want us to do with this. There was somebody at Fox, an executive, that did ask for it, and That's, even then they turned it down. Yeah, yeah, but they even Julia Sweeney was like. It's a skit. I don't have any ideas. And they say, they really want it. So yeah. she's like, all right, I guess money. I'll write it. And that's where it came from. It was from Saturday Night Live. And, you know, to be fair, it was a, it was a beloved skit. You know, a lot, a lot of people say it, it's simple, but that's, that's the beauty and the charm of it. You know, it's a one note joke that y'all are really stretching out. That's almost part of the joke. And plus they were able to bring in other people as guests and whatnot, be a part of the gag. Pat, are you a man or a woman? The fact that we don't know is all the fun. <laughs> That's Adam Sandler. So they expanded on it, man. They were doing some clever things with it. And of course, when things get popular like that, some executive has to have a bright idea and just fall up. And that is what happened. Even when they do have a bright idea, they're like, you know what? This isn't as good as I thought it was. Right. <laughs> Anybody else want this? <laughs> it changed the light bulb on that bright yeah. idea. Oh, yeah. did I ask? I was, I was probably drunk when I said I wanted that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, this, this, this is... Uh, so th th that's Julia Sweeney playing the role of yeah. Pat. Pat is for anybody who knows this. Pat is a, is in a is an androgynous character, and you can see they are here with Harvey Keitel. Uh, the whole skit was P 
people trying to figure out if Pat was a man or a woman. And right when somebody would be about to say it, something would interrupt, something would happen, or she'd be very vague about it. You know, she would always, people would answer very specific questions and somehow Pat would find a way to maneuver around it. Well, the, yeah, that was, that was the fun of it. The, the embarrassment of wanting to ask, not knowing how to ask. And right when somebody thought, all right, this question will settle it. Yeah, and, and Pat would say something that was like, no, nope. right. totally ambiguous no. again. It yeah. Was, yeah, it was almost clever the way they would think uh, uh, a way around it. Uh, some of you were saying that sounds problematic, <laughs> <laughs> and you would be correct. Right. Uh, uh, but you know what? At the time, <laughs> Julius, the yeah, no, here's the '94, y'all. Now, at the time, Julia Sweeney. She had made this uh, this character so big that, uh, you know, a lot of people kind of got in on it. So the movie deals with, again, it's the joke of people trying to figure out what Pat is. Believe it or not, it's an hour and 13 minutes without the credits of people <laughs> trying to figure out what she's doing. And, and her getting into random adventures. Because <laughs> right, they don't have shit to fill this whole movie with. <laughs> Keep in mind, it was one of the shortest sketches on SNL. It was. Like, like Ladies Man was longer. Uh, uh, Wayne's yeah. World was real long. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is like, literally, these were like, what, two minute sketches? Yeah, two minutes. Yeah, they, 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 didn't have, they, they didn't have anything to do with like a three minute sketch. Now they're going to do a hour and 13 minute movie <laughs> so like the, a, a one a one joke one running joke how did they do this well we'll let you know but i will tell you this i just say like i said this movie first of all it's problematic already because they're playing with gender and you can't really play with gender the same way today well you certainly can't you and you can't you can't be frivolous with it i i i, I can only say <laughs> in its defense somewhat don't 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 uh -huh. don't paint me with the wrong brush you <laughs> like you look at this and you go like hey they keep saying androgynous but but you know you think pat's binary that's what we say now well, but, Pat, but well, pat's not actually binary yeah but, but, you know pat is either male or female that's the, yeah that's we, the thing just, just don't know now, yeah we just, yeah we just and what and so yeah i mean the, the kids don't you know don't watch this. And if you know, we'll, we'll, let, <laughs> no. let us do this for you. We'll talk you through it. Because <laughs> yeah. y'all gonna go out and hurt somebody if yeah. you see this stuff. No. Don't, just, Put down the picket signs yeah. real quick. Hold on now. Yeah. How dare they? Yeah, you're gonna be throwing hashtags at people that you see is <laughs> like throwing stars. <laughs> 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 yeah. They they tried they that 30 seconds of this movie, they they already trying to piss some people off. Here we are. Whoops! Oh. Oh, sorry there. So you drop a baby on his head. This is Pat being born. The first time she's out the out the womb, out that vagina, they drop on her head. And I know some of y'all are saying you expect us to laugh at that. Do you realize that one in seven children in America are a victim of child abuse, and you want us to laugh at this right here? I didn't say I wanted you to. I don't say I want you to do shit. You know, I'm just saying that this is what the movie did at the time. The only thing, and, and here's the only thing that's more, oh, this is what gets people. The only thing that's, that, that, that is worse than abusing children <laughs> is abusing pronouns. <laughs> do not do that today. The, op the, the opening <laughs> <laughs> the, do not do that the, today. Do not do that today. The opening song of this of oh, this movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The, the opening song of this movie is almost a warning on uh, how it's telling all of y'all to run away. All you all you younger generation, run away from this because it, it's a, it it's it's a warning on how badly this movie has aged. Just, now, it, there's a lot of pronouns that you that that that, that people prefer when, when when referring to gender. It is not one of them. No. <laughs> no. And the thing is, if you look on IMDb, is somebody's description of the movie, they use it all over there. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow, damn. they still letting this stand, huh? Yeah, you do not, believe me, you do not want to use it. Just they don't even want you to use it for an animal, much less a human person when it comes to gender. So they already the beginning with this yeah. movie. <laughs> that old lame ass song. That is yeah. Mama, Mama, sir. Whatever Mama, sir. it may be, it's Pat. What is she? I mean, he. I mean, I mean, it's Pat. Yeah. What is this? What, what is, is this? this? <laughs> what is that? It's Pat. <laughs> but uh, for those who love the sketch, 
the movie knows why you're here, man. <laughs> all, all three of you, you know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so they 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 waste no time jumping into the pat humor, those good old pat jokes that we love so much. Well, is it a boy or a girl? No time. Look for yourself. It's Pat. Oh, I thought it was gonna give it away this time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the camera, the face like yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> Move on. Yeah, I, that, that, I, I, I also looked at that and said, "Except you brought us here." <laughs> oh yeah, I know. So I just kept thinking about you the whole time. <laughs> Good. It, it's Billy. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to feel Billy. this. <laughs> he did this shit. <laughs> oh, man. I want every bit of this. <laughs> I'm gonna say something though. I'm gonna say something. I, I should not say out loud at this moment. I, and I'm not saying I'm going to say this with pride or anything, man, but uh, here goes. This could have been a decent movie. I'm not saying it could have been great. This could have been a decent movie. Anything can be decent if you, I don't know, just give a shit. It's a, it's, it's a stretch, but you're right. <laughs> it could have been. It, I'm, I'm, I'm tell, I'm, Somewhere in the quantum realm. Yes. <laughs> on, on one of these variant timelines, this could have been a decent movie. Let me, please, st- oh, please, please, hold on, please. please no, hold, please, hold on. Get back, get back. No, just, just, no, just, just hear me out here. Uh, if you had just used just... Uh, ounce of cleverness with this you could have thought this through to something you could have got it you could have got maybe an hour and 10 minutes out of this but if this were a smarter movie uh if this was a movie that actually thought it through and didn't depend on one lame joke and some gross out humor it could have been something man it could have been a movie about body positivity and confidence way ahead of its time by the Mm -hmm. way before you know we were here today Cause that's the way the character, and I'm confused about this actually. That's the way the character started out in the movie, being very confident about themselves. Will you be my Valentine, Pat? What? Bitch, you crazy! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck away from me! <laughs> Are you kind of confused today? I was always very popular. Why don't you take a reality pill? Ooh, boy, crush that dude! Yeah, <laughs> yeah but what now? It's Cause sometimes the movie has some funny things going on, like like the like that that damn gnome they got in the background. <laughs> the <kid's> in <laughs> Is that a dunce cap? Dunce cap. Dunce cap. Yeah, yeah, put that kid in the corner. I didn't I, I didn't even notice that until right now. Uh, you know, cause the thing is, they they Pat might have looked weird, man, but Pat's confidence was turning all these kids on, man. And he yeah. was, I mean, Pat was she was breaking hearts at that time, man. Boys and girls are trying to get a piece of that Pat ass right there, man. <laughs> Throw that ass in the oh, yeah. <laughs> And Pat was shooting them down, yeah. breaking hearts, man. You better come on, come on, correct that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dust cap. Did Pat grow up in the thirties? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Man. <laughs> that guy's back there quiet too. Yeah. Yeah. He must have really messed yeah. up because he ain't said a word. On Valentine's Day. Hey, he must have been going around grabbing asses or something, yeah. right? <laughs> you really don't know how this works. He <laughs> <laughs> back there serving his time quiet yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> you got 30 more minutes on your sentence, Shit. boy. Pat being dropped on the head, you know, that kicks in. And <laughs> from that point, it's 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 a problem. It's a big problem. It's a problem for the story. It's a problem for this movie. It's a problem for everything. Uh, and that's where the movie becomes one huge problem. And it happens in one quick edit, man. I mean, we don't get no lead up to it or anything. Uh, it, we in one fell swoop, one cut, one edit, Pat becomes one of the most unlikable characters in cinematic history. I do not exaggerate. There is not a goddamn redeeming thing about this character right here. Uh, and I tried to give Pat the benefit of the doubt. I really did. I thought, cause I thought, and I use this term all the time and I don't use it like, I don't use it lightly, but I just said maybe because Pat was dropped out of head, she ain't, or he or they ain't right. Maybe they're mentally challenged or something, uh-huh, you know, uh-huh. because they lack, cause, cause they lack, Pat lacks basic, very, Basic skills, basic social skills, basic social skills and basic cognitive skills to hold down a simple job. To me, it was the adults who seemed confused.
Hey, 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 h
Pat had a little party, engagement party. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And, you know, not hospitable to the guest at all. Y'all shut up. Look at me. People, you're talking again. Dude looks like a lady. All right, how can we get the... Yeah, man. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, oh my God. Yeah. And Pat, yeah. show up. How did Pat get so many people to show up in yeah. the first place? Yeah. Like, Who's yeah. party is this? It's Pat's. <laughs> Pat's engagement party. Yeah, that's her party. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, party. wait, wait. That's... Pat's at an engagement party? Yeah, we'll get into that a little okay, bit. Okay, all right, all right. You can see, even yeah. Sean Connery showed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Pat, Pat has no humbleness at all. Pat, we'll get into Pat's friend right here in a little bit, but Pat... You know, people care about Pat for why, I don't know, but they call and say nice things and Pat just cannot take a, a compliment in, in any kind of adult way. Um, you were really great on the show tonight. I know. <laughs> I know, oh, yeah. Jesus. Of course <laughs> I was. You tell, tell me something I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> it's like one of those old school kids yeah. that just it's like hey, so egotistical. Hey, well, uh, weird. Pat has Asperger's. Yeah. <laughs> Pat just had got ass. <laughs> it's and, and, and it's almost like they're saying like, well, when they got dropped on the head, that's what happened to them. Yeah, yeah. It, it is kind of saying that. Yeah, it's, it's implying it. But even then, I can only excuse so much. I mean, just getting on everybody's nerves. The, the whole apartment complex got to deal with that dumb ass. Shut your no, ass up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. This Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Everybody, everybody tired of them. Everybody tired of Pat. There are times when the movie calls, they, they, they call Pat gross. And it, sometimes it feels a little wrong because, it, you know, it is body shaming. You know, they have moments in here like, you know, how dare someone that looks like you have sex? I don't want to know about your, your sex life. Uh, first of all, I need some protection. Oh, dear God. I need a lubricant. What? For my eyes. They're drying up due to the... Pump. Oh, hell, these uh, jokes, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather watch Pat have sex than put up with these <laughs> jokes some more. Also, Kathy and Jimmy's... Uh, uh, reaction <laughs> to what's going on is way inappropriate. It's somebody uh, yeah. coming to the drugstore right. just ordering stuff. Right. Right. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, no. I, want, I want to know about you. <laughs> you, oh, I'm you, know, you know where you work, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want know, too much yeah. information about your personal. Oh, yeah, but I do sell this stuff too. Yeah, just, right. just sell them the stuff and shut the hell up. Yeah, people coming there getting all kind of hemorrhoid medicines and right. like, yeah. gonorrhea medicine, you know. And she, like, she, she's looking at her like, yeah. yeah. <gasps> so, so there is a there is a, a a little bit of body shaming that goes on in the movie where I, that's the only time I'll give Pat, uh, you know, I'll let that slide right there. But Pat is gross, all right, and it's not because of that looks; it's because Pat is a nasty. Ew. You f me like, like uh, how you just gonna like, take like, this shit? Like, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't even have oh, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and the funny thing is, this whole this place needs to be burned down. This restaurant, because mm -hmm. nobody cares. Manager just sitting up there looking, ain't done a damn thing. <laughs> Felt no remorse for this no. dude. Didn't didn't didn offer no napkins. Didn't offer no chopsticks or anything. Like, this this kind of behavior, what Pat is doing right here. It's like the string of the snot is still stuck to the to the to the to, to, to the food, and they hand it off. That's psychotic, you know. That's why Pat needs to be destroyed. Right, right. But, but, also, this is a movie about hey, we can't figure out what gender this person is. That's, yes, that's that's the joke of the movie. That's the premise. <laughs> but suddenly, because we don't know what else to do, exactly, it's a snot joke. It's a, yeah, <laughs> it has nothing to do with anything else going on. Yeah, let's just that's what I'm talking about. They just have to fill time because there's nothing else going on. They don't have a movie, y'all. Even as a movie, it's not a movie. It's not. I was like, this doesn't even qualify. It's a waste of time here and there. It's filling time here and there. It's padding right here, but it ain't no goddamn movie. It's the same joke over and over and over again. It is always predictable. I spent half this movie 10 miles ahead of every joke. Yeah, yeah. I spent half this movie talking about, I just said, kept saying to myself, I get it. I get it. I no, you get don't. it. No, you don't. I, I get it. it. I get it. People, one lame ass joke after another. Hello, is it hot in here or is it just me? I see this thermostat already. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the thermostat is right there. You ain't even trying to hide it, Clever. Oh, it's right there. You have to worry, bitch. I'm going to turn this down. <laughs> it's right there. It's me. This thing is set at 82 degrees. I get it. <laughs> People, I, she falls down the steps. Oh, I crushed my nuts. Uh, what happened? Uh, pull the wall. Oh, uh, <laughs> let me guess. Yeah. Let me guess. You actually had <laughs> actual, some actual uh, nuts as in the food in your pocket. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's gonna hurt. Shoot. There goes my afternoon snack. I told we got it. It ain't done clever. People. Your afternoon snack. My afternoon snack. Yeah, yeah. One, one walnut. One walnut. Okay, one walnut. 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 Is that a banana in your pocket? That's exactly what it is. I get it. I get it. You just happy to see me. No, it's a banana. Oh my God! He <laughs> Charles Rockets like say. mother. Oh God! Any oh. type of joke just gets you angry. Angry, <laughs> you oh. no. I get <laughs> it. I Stack. get it. You know something? I love to stroke your pussy cat. It's a. It's an actual cat. I get it. I know. Meow! <laughs> yes! Wow! And the instant he just ended like that. <laughs> one back, two back to the other, man. <laughs> you just feel defeated at some point. <laughs> and then did a swipe, too! And then did a swipe, like this is Star Wars, man. Right? Like, oh, yeah. we nailed it! Like it was a mic drop. Yeah. yeah like, look at this. Like this. this. Whoa, we got him with the pussycat jump. In C. Hungry people going, what the hell, boy? I'm oh, sorry. My after goes my afternoon stack. What the hell? That like, that like they can't even set up the joke right. Like Pat, the way she broke that walnut or that pecan right there. Like she was, or he, they, whatever, they, they were just standing there. They were just standing there. Cause you think that maybe they actually slipped and fell. No, they just like, yeah, hey, how you doing everybody? Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Was it? That's what you get. <laughs> like, oh, it's, it's like if a joke bombs and you just try to get attention by throwing yourself down the stairs. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> That damn afro hit the floor. <laughs> Watch this. Oh my god. Uh, they couldn't even, she couldn't even sell it like, like, whoa. Like, whoa. And then all of a sudden it's like somebody threw it. And after that, yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Kid flying down the fucking stairs. Oh. <laughs> On my afternoon snacks. <laughs> What's wrong with you? How about your head? You got a concussion. What the fuck? You button my nuts. <laughs> your spine okay? <laughs> oh, my nuts. Oh, oh God. Oh, yeah. Shit, afternoon snack. I got better things to do in my afternoon. <laughs> like my lawn, which will be ah. very much, <laughs> which will be much easier to take care of with Sunday. <laughs> Sunday lawn. Now, we got to take a break now. And give a word to our sponsor, which is Sunday. Sunday provides everything that you need to take care of your lawn and have it looking its best. Thing with this is that weather's about to get warmer. We about to actually, we about to actually get hot here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that grass is about to turn crispy and brown out there. It's about to like hay out there, mm -hmm. unless you start taking care of your lawn. And uh, you know, look, look, you millennials out there, and some of you uh, Gen Z. You know, y'all y'all adults now, you know, some of y'all starting to think about getting houses. You know, and those houses don't come with lawns and you're gonna have to take care of that. Make it easy on yourself. You get Sunday. You know, Sunday, they provide everything that you need to get that lawn looking the best, be the envy of the neighborhood. 
And the way you can actually make this happen at first, uh, go to GetSunday.com slash Toasted and enter your address to get a customized plan that's created just for your lawn. With Sunday, you send in a lawn analysis and they actually do a little work, checking the, what, what the, the makeup of your lawn, seeing what it's like. You have a few questions about it, give you location. And uh, then after that, they send you your first box with a free soil test and it arrives right when your lawn needs it. And all you need is a hose. You know, you probably think you need a lot of stuff. You probably think you need a laboratory or something. No, you don't need that. They take care of that. Just have a hose ready. And when you do, you'll be able to fertilize your lawn in less time than it takes to actually watch an episode of your favorite TV show out there. You know, they only use ingredients that you can feel safe and secure with. Don't have to worry about your pets going out there and getting poisoned and dying all because you're trying to make your lawn look good. Walk out there and see a dog body and everything, but you're trying to, because you don't know what you're doing. Hmm. Let, let Sunday take care of that. They only use ingredients that don't have any harsh chemicals. You know, they have any long waiting periods for people to go out there and enjoy the lawn so your kids and your pets are safe. Very simple to apply. And you'll be back out there enjoying that lawn in no time. And it's affordable. They have a full season plan that starts at just $109. And you know what? We can even make that better for you. Sweeten the deal. Like you're going to have that sweet grass out there. And here's what you do. Go to GetSunday.com slash Toasted to get 20% off your custom plan for your lawn. I want to thank Sunday for coming in and sponsoring this portion of the show. And I want to thank all of you out there for your support. All right. Where were we right here? Now, <clears throat> falling, out falling out of stairs. Falling down. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, let me see now. Oh, where? Oh, where? Where, where were we? <laughs> God, that last one. I looked great for that foot in the thing. Oh. It was like, <laughs> like sack. <laughs> oh, I love when legs go kicking up. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? For this shitty ass, that was one hell of a stunt person right there. Oh, that was. Because that was a real stunt. I mean, yeah, god yeah. damn. I think, they, I think they didn't even know they were going to be pushed out. For real. Because that looked like, it was like, somebody was like, wait, that, just let me know, give me on three, ready? No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yo, action when you're off. Shit. Wait a minute. Hold on. God damn it. You didn't tell me I'm going to knock you. Uh, let me see it. Now, you know what? I thought they were going to change things up. <laughs> My dumb ass. I thought they were going to change things up when Pat met another Pat, who's actually named Chris. And that's Foley. What's his name? Dave, Dave, Foley. Dave, Dave Foley. Who was, well, he was, on, was he on SNL? Oh, no, no. He was in Kids in the Hall originally, yeah, yeah. but was he ever on, on SNL? No, no, but no. Mark McKinney was on both okay. of them. Okay. All right. Maybe that's who I'm thinking of. Yes, then. Mark McKinney. I knew one of the members of Kids in the Hall was on SNL. Uh, but yeah, he, uh, they meets, uh, they. they meet Chris, uh, who's another they. Another androgynous Another name. androgynous, yeah. Another Red androgynous Chris. name, another androgynous look. And, you know, I, th I, th I thought when, okay, we got all the silly shit out the way because people want to see the Pat jokes. All right. When Chris is here, now we're going to actually get into some story of some kind, I guess. Well, pleased to meet you. <clears throat> ah. What? All right, all right, thank you. Uh, How does that go on for? But it goes on way too yeah, long. It goes on way too long because they got 113 minutes to fill. That's why. Yeah. 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 And I thought, so there was literal sparks flying. Yeah. You know, there's chemistry, these two into each other. They get engaged. And I thought that, okay, at this moment. Woo! Man, shit, that felt man. nice. Gesundheit. Right. Thank you. Don't get shay. But I thought that these two, since they fell in love and got engaged, I thought, to, you know, together they'd be fighting prejudice through love and sticking up for each other. I thought together they would show the world that, you know, just because they have a look that people don't actually agree with, that, hey, why shouldn't they find love? And, you know, they're going to teach, they're going to teach the world to stop with their prejudice ways. <laughs> I think you didn't turn the movie on at this point, right? I did not. I was being, as usual, a little naive. 
AKA stupid. All right, what the f was I thinking? No, it's the, it's the same old shit. Oh, now Chris will leave my towels alone. Oh, you, you're incorrigible. <laughs> Okay, we really gonna do this for an hour, all right. Okay. <clears throat> but Danny right. Carvey used to play Chris on the skits. Did he? Oh. Well, he knew better than come up in here. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> There's not enough for a movie here. How many times it, I gotta it, tell it, you that? It's it, just so not. Yet, they keep going. You know, like, like Pat, it's unstoppable. It, it seemed like they had this idea of, you know, we can kind of make it like Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Because it has, like, it, it keeps trying to do that with the music and, and the certain things with Pat. But yeah. it's like, yeah, but you guys are way off the mark with this. Well, no, they, they completely, because when they run out of jokes, they just start finding random things for Pat to get into. Mm -hmm. That doesn't advance the story whatsoever, because really ain't no story in the first place. But it's just like, you, the little adventures, the misadventures of Pat, little adventures that they get into. Uh... You know, Pat sings karaoke. It's a funny clip. And so Pat ends up on a re reality clip show like America's Funniest Home Videos. Welcome back to America's Creepiest People, the show that allows... Well, she's in the right place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're in the right place. So feel a little bit better about ourselves by giving us the opportunity to laugh at those who are less fortunate. Wow. What you are? Well, I laughed at that just random old yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That stop <laughs> Now that was kind of funny. That's a Tammy Faye and Jim Baker audience right there. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no goddamn. Come on, man. Y'all got the same glasses on. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I thought that with this subplot right here, Pat might finally realize that people aren't laughing with them; they're laughing at them. And at that point, maybe it would be a lesson for Pat to be a better person. I should have been treating people like they've been doing, but that doesn't happen here. It just leads into another set of useless subplots that just waste time, like a cameo from the band Ween. And uh, a lot of people, I don't know if anybody knows Ween. I know Ween has- Oh man, that's way back. That is way back. I, I know Ween has, to this day, dedicated fans. I've seen Ween five times live just because friends have taken me oh, wow. to, oh, these, wow. to these shows. For those for those Gen X people out there, maybe some of you millennials who you know you, you know you want to you know you want to be cool because you remember music from back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll remember Ween. You know that's a song that you it. that shit off. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, <laughs> what the hell? It was another Chipmunk song. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate it when Beavis and Butthead would do it. Remember yeah, Beavis uh -huh, would do that, and yeah. I was like, oh my god, fast forward. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the band Ween, I don't, you know, they're just here because I'm sure Julie Sween is a fan mm -hmm. because they don't, they, they really don't serve any real purpose here except to just show up and be a cameo. Hey, weren't you on TV last night? Yes, I was. Oh, who wants to know? Oh, we're Ween. So? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're about to say so. Like, yeah. 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 What does yeah. that mean? Yeah, well, yeah exactly. <laughs> All right, I, I, can't, I can't fault Pat for that one. No, no, like, no, yeah, no. Like, Pat, okay. <laughs> Wait, we in the bathroom's over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're we. I know you are. Yeah. Yeah. Back to <laughs> Wait, me. So why did say no? We're banned, you know. That's Gene Ween and I'm Dean Ween, you know. Like Simon and Garfunkel. Except it's not, <laughs> not any way part that they, they know you did not yeah. have a nerve. Is By it, the way, I'm not talking about Ween. They're actually great. I've seen them live. They're actually pretty awesome. But uh, is uh, it me or they come off very creepy, weird? Yeah, yeah. No, right no, away they're talking. Yeah, because yeah, they, they got to stick to music. Because acting is not that. No, thing. you can tell they're musicians because <laughs> yeah. they ain't actors. About to kidnap. <laughs> and I, they'll tell you. They'll, they'll tell you. Look, we didn't. Look, she asked us to be in this shit. We don't. We didn't want to be right, here, really. Right. And I'm thinking, like, all right. So, what what is this going to lead up to? Let me see, man. I, uh, oh, here it is. Because really, <clears throat> again, I thought there was going to be some sort of a subplot here that would lead to something. Ween would actually give her or them uh, some sort of purpose now. Ween would actually, I'm, I mean, I'm doing something with the clip right here. Ween would actually come in and uh, give, her, give, give Pat some guidance. You know, this, was, this would actually lead to some arc for Pat and that, no. Uh, what, 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 again, what the Talking about. I can feel you a tuba joke. That's all it's there for. Wait, did Ween always sound like little kids when they sing? Not all the time. Okay. No, no, I don't know why they keep doing it. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> Shit, there's a gas leak in the room. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I yeah, yeah. But yeah, a tuba joke. And that's because 
tubas are funny, I guess. I guess. That's it. That's it. And then that leads to uh <laughs> that leads to another joke that means nothing. All these all these things are just here, they're not funny, first of all. They're really obvious. Or they just, you know, they they fall flat and none of them lead to anything. Uh there's a there's a mushroom joke here. Well, uh, at the after party, there's a they're serving uh hors d'oeuvres here and they they got I guess stuffed mushrooms and Pat has heard about psychedelic mushrooms and sex drugs and rock and roll, so hey. Hey, I don't know what's in these. These could be psychedelic, right? But yeah, sleep. Those aren't hallucinogenic mushrooms. We're from Safeway. Well, that was worth the trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a funny joke 15 years before yeah, that. Yeah. And if you're going to try to tell, if you're going to drag the joke out that long, you better have a better payoff by somebody who can deliver the line, yes. the punch line, because this yes. fool can't act. And he knows it, but they had to do it anyway. Pat just does and gets worse. I didn't think Pat could be a worse person. Mm. Boy, don't get don't put that challenge out there. <laughs> Hold my beer. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with snot in it. <laughs> uh, Pat again. Pat just wondering. Pat need to be put in a cage or something because Pat just <laughs> cage. Cause like, like yeah, because Pat just wanders into people's homes and everything. But Pat just is, it's like a force of nature, a wild animal. Pat will just wander into things and get into things. And Pat goes to the radio station where Cat the Griffin works because. Pat thinks, oh, that's my best friend. So when Pat gets in there, Pat starts oh. answering the phones because Pat, Kathy Griffin goes to look for security. Don't ever do that. Keep your eyes on Pat at all times. Right? <laughs> don't, don't, ever, don't ever turn your back on Pat. Right. That's a mistake. But Pat starts answering the phones. And y'all thought the humor was offensive before. Now here we're going to start to get real bad. Pat starts taking calls from people. One call just encourages, in the name of comedy, encourages somebody to kill themselves. Hey, can I help you? Have you considered drowning? I mean, they say it's like God giving you a big wet hug forever. Now today, they would have rushed in there and be like, no, Pat, no, don't do that. Pat, are you crazy? That They would have taught Pat a lesson. The suicide hotline would have came oh, on yeah, the screen. Yeah. If you or anybody you know is thinking right. hurting yourself, yeah. all that shit would have been there. Not not in the 90s. No, no. Not in the 90s, go kill yourself. Right, right. Ha, ha, ha. Suicide was funny. Yeah, suicide was hilarious. <laughs> Here's like, a good idea. <laughs> and let me tell you something, a lot of us back then, we didn't know the difference. I'm not trying to act all high and mighty. I, I probably made a lot of suicide jokes back then. You know, we didn't learn how sensitive mm -hmm. that was until today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe, come on, y'all. We used to watch Bugs Bunny shoot his brains out every other week. On the regular. Man, he was okay. Yeah, he came back. He was fine. <laughs> Pat, why don't you be the new host of Love Chat? Great. <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell more people to go kill themselves. I mean, what Pat's doing is basically Dr. Laura. Oh, it is, <laughs> yeah. She's just more blunt about it. And that's Tim Meadows, another another Saturday Night Live alumni right there. It's a very 90s thing to do. You know, somebody leaves and they get on the air for some reason. Yeah. And, you yes. know, let's get around it. No, oh, hang on a second. Let's see where this goes. Right, 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 right. right, right. Phones are lit up. Yeah. The, person's the, the got rating just, yeah. just skyrocketed. Yeah. It seems that people love Pat's outrageousness yeah. and honesty. It's always the honesty. Yeah. yeah. You know, you're so raw and honest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. 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 that's it. Yeah, that's it right there. In real life, you'd be in the unemployment line or <laughs> <laughs> getting thrown out the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Murphy. yeah, yeah, we like that honesty and all, but it got us a bunch of lawsuits. Yes. Right. So you got to yeah, go. No, man. not then. A lot of people hate Pat's raw and honesty but that's because they're tuning in for her raw and honest opinions. It's like, right, good. Okay. You ain't Howard Stern. No, not <laughs> at all. And Pat just keeps, I'm told you, know, Pat keeps getting worse. I mean, it was only a matter of time before Pat got racist. Oh, <laughs> yeah. shit. I was waiting. I was like, any, 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 any minute now. Pat, yeah, you leave, leave Pat long enough, Pat gonna get racist, man. Pat's covered everything else. Pat, Pat's diary goes missing. Now this, this oh, oh, oh yes. no. Man, in concept, this is kind of funny. Because Pat, Pat's diary goes missing. And the first thing Pat does is leave the house and just wanders around the neighborhood, goes miles looking for the first brown and black person that they can find to uh, blame them for stealing that <laughs> shit. Walk with that purpose Walk again. That purpose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who took it? Which one of you Negroes took it? Oh, fuck buddy all up. Yeah. Oh, and, and I would be scared for it, but 
Pat, or be scared for them, but Pat fortunately ran into the weakest looking gang, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the, the dumbest looking gang in, in, in LA. Hey dudes, did any of you guys steal anything lately? <laughs> what are you talking about? Look at this silly <laughs> shit right here. This, <laughs> these, this gang out here wearing these elf hats. I know, yeah, I know, right. Yeah, like, yeah. Th those are art students. Yeah, but like they just get, got back from Lollapalooza. <laughs> yeah, for real. Look at these gnome hats. They got yeah, yeah. elf hats. They <laughs> <laughs> just got to work in the sand and try to be a gang. Yeah, yeah. The Lollipop Guild. And I love this man, <laughs> Mean <laughs> Mugger. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that guy had me laughing. He's making the most out of that moment. What are you talking about? Like my laptop diary? What the hell are you anyway? <laughs> oh, what the hell are you? Brother, I'm sorry. You you were not threatening with that damn stocking cap on your head. That what? damn night, that, 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 yeah. that that's that night cap. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. pajama cap that he <laughs> just needs a little ball on the end. The sleepy time yeah. teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the gang uniform or oversized hoodie? <laughs> so what the hell are you? A man or a woman? <laughs> <laughs> we were laughing about it. Yeah, what the hell you, man. baby? <laughs> <laughs> this is like the best exchange in the whole movie, right? Here. Yeah. <laughs> look, 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 look at the dude next to him looking down. Yeah, like, I, yeah. I, I, I'd like yeah. to know too. <laughs> Ain't none. What you say, art students? <laughs> That's exactly what <laughs> like. <laughs> All of them grown man dressed like they're 13. Yeah. All the pastel colors. Oh, yeah. All of them are business skateboards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My man, the leader again. The hell out of 50. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on, man. Yeah. Oh, gee, like a motherfucker. Yeah. Man, he got that bottom lip yeah. always touching his nose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you doing around these parts? <laughs> Charles Rocket is is in the movie. Charles Rocket is another yeah. Saturday Night Live alumni. Sad, tragic story with this guy. I've told yeah. you this before because he was in something else. Uh, you know, we're going to laugh, but it's a, it's a sad story with this guy. He was he was supposed to be the next big breakout on Saturday Night Live. Yep. And the woman who was over Saturday Night Live at the time, she was putting uh, Charles Rocket over people like Joe Piscopo and Eddie Murphy. They were there at the time. They just weren't getting as much airtime. And she had a hard on for this guy. She wanted to have sex with him or something. But uh, she, she got was. let go as showrunner. Eddie Murphy and Joe Piscopo started to come on the rise. And also Charles Rocket said, yeah, yeah, that's the first fired. first one to ever do it. Yeah. He said he said he did it during the the very end of the whole show. It was it was during the beginning when they bring out the cast. Yeah, he oh, said that's it. when he said. Yeah, that's, yeah he, he went said the whole end. show without saying it, oh, okay. and then said it in the very end. <clears throat> and that was it. Yeah, so he after that, I don't know after he was put off of Saturday Night Live, career didn't go as planned. He made you know bit parts here and there. He was in Dances with Wolves and Dumb a few and other things, Dumb and Dumber. But yeah, I don't know what happened, but just not too long ago, about four or five years ago, he committed suicide. So About a decade ago. <clears throat> was it about a decade ago? Yeah. 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 Well, you know, this happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we got that sad story out there. Let's have a good laugh. Because Charles Rocket, he did have me laughing in this, man. He, because He's talented. <laughs> He he's so obsessed by Pat. He like he he's got to know. He, he's got to know what Pat is, man. It's driving him crazy. Like he has a he has a wife. Seems like the like his marriage is going okay. And then he sees Pat, and it all goes out. immediately. Immediately drove his ass to drink. <laughs> don't you think you've had enough? No, I don't. No, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting him back, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'll tell you when I've had enough. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh -huh. He was the best thing about this. I just love when he came on, man. He was just silly. Well, he just was just the silly. idea that his 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 uh, curiosity would turn into an obsession yes. and yeah. almost a love and yes. drive, and drive him to, yeah. yeah i mean no, it's, it's interesting it's just too bad it's in this right. movie yeah. where they don't know what to do with it cuz he's funny even he has some funny moments with his wife oh what's pat's laundry like <laughs> I don't know what Pat's laundry is like. It's not like I go around looking at people's dirty laundry. Now, you know you a nasty <laughs> hoe. He looked at me oh, <laughs> yeah, you know. Bitch, yeah, bitch I know you. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, make me call out. Yeah, did yeah, did been, you really just say that? Yeah, I've been up in that ass. I know what you do. <laughs> he was like, yeah. <laughs> you, you, do you want to keep this up or oh, you want to just move on? Yeah. You want to stop lying? Yeah, boy, that look, look at him. Bitch, stop lying. <laughs> I know, look at that face. That is great. You know you a nasty hoe. Now, come on. Now, stop. Just, what did she say when he said that? 
Oh, uh, she's like, oh, and she starts actually saying, yeah, she, yeah, they had this and that, yeah, and yeah. yeah bras and panties and whatnot. What's funny though? He's like, what's past lunch like? Like he went, he had nothing, he had nothing to do with her. Uh, Wait, hold on a second now. You yeah. doing what? Yeah. Good comic timing. Huh? Come yeah. on now, come on now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that face is brilliant. Yeah, it is, <laughs> bitch, please. Well, I, That's well, what I, that is. Yeah, that head was about to roll off that yeah. head. <laughs> that bitch, she was just smelling my drawers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you in my shit? Come on, <laughs> I have to chase you out of my drawers. Is in fact. Situation is starting to turn to attraction, which is starting to turn to almost sexual assault in a way. I ain't, you know, Pat is bad, but I ain't saying Pat gotta be, you know, Pat don't deserve this. A dog got at it, but you can still read the number as it's all they need. Oh, I remember that now. I do have one. Good. I have to get this back, it's kind of an heirloom. Give me that shit. <laughs> 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 <He's> like, <laughs> Hurry. Yeah. Like, 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 it, was, like, it was drugs or some shit. Like, it's not bullshit. All right. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that whole conversation, that, that's like the, one of those pedophiles that Chris Hansen walks in on. Hell yeah. yeah. The whole like, well, if if you have some, a picture of you in the nude, yeah, yeah. I, I can get you on TV. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. These cookies, you're all good. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> he grabbed that shit quick, though. Shit, yeah. He's like, I can't wait. I, I didn't know it was on the wall. He's like, I'll, I'll get it, goddamn. Yeah. It's taking forever. <laughs> and, and it gets to a moment where the, uh, my man just tells her, he, uh, tells them, he's, he says, get naked. I was trying to. Oh, God yeah. damn. I'm yeah. trying to bullshit, man. Yeah. He says, strip. Get, getting ahead of himself. <laughs> yeah, let me see. <laughs> let me see if I can. Yeah, let me see if I can find this. Smoothness is out the window. <laughs> yeah, he's, he just. You, he, you need to drop your drawers, goddamn it. Yeah, he pretty much tells Pat, he, he, he tells him, hey, get naked. <laughs> He's like, he can't believe this shit. <laughs> you see his eyes? God damn it. I swear to God, boy. I was just there. <laughs> like, he locks himself in a room for hours just looking at karaoke videos of Pat jacking off. If you have small children, hey, she, he, freak he, out! He, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know. No. <laughs> He's like a dude who has fucked everything and finally decided to get married. Yeah. And then realized, wait, there's something that I never got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like about one box I never got the check. Yeah, right. yeah, like he's in there like I didn't know that it existed. Yeah, like he really got like in a room jacking off because his wife is like, what are you doing in there? You've been in there for hours, like, go away. <laughs> It's just that you've been in there for three days. Yes. <laughs> he got to dig in his head. Right, right, right. Right. He showed up. And she, and she yeah. up. Yeah. Right, now. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Almost died. Oh, yeah. I was just there. Look, yeah. he got the yeah. face yeah. and everything. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> this fool is out. He wants it so bad. He wants to know what's down there so bad. And wants to get up in it so bad. He's, he's, he's hanging outside like Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> smile his ass off. Just give me one more chance. <laughs> hey, he's smiling. Hey, hey just hey, hanging around. Man. Let me in, man. <laughs> we can do the Spider Man kiss. Yeah. 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 like a vampire out there. Let you me gotta in, invite man. me in first. Though. Yeah, come on up, man. You know you want this. He, he got called dressed like Pat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pat came to the house and he answered the door and forgot he was dressed like Pat. Uh, <laughs> my diary's been stolen. My diary's been stolen. <laughs> you get the fro on too. <laughs> oh no! If a guy he was dressed like that, oh no! Tell me more. <laughs> I guess he stole the diary. Yeah, yeah, of course yeah, he yeah. did. Yeah, he tried to. <laughs> Who else would steal? Yeah, yeah, he stole that goddamn diary. He, man, he lost his mind so bad that he's trying to crack the code, dressed like, dressed like, uh, uh, dressed like Pat, and got a Pat puppet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, he even got the pet puppet doing things pet does. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's strung out. He's strung out like a motherfucker. Oh. Lips all white. <laughs> Shit stains on his shirt. He's got dry ass lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Drove him crazy. <laughs> 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 he lost his mind. <laughs> he got the 
that old Mr. Rogers puppet. Ah. <laughs> you see that puppet puppet thing. <laughs> 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 he made it sound too. <laughs> he was the beast, the best part of this movie. He hey, the man. Best part. Yeah. That's, that's what he does. That's Somebody that said, you're right. He said, I said because I was like, that's a foregone conclusion. <laughs> what is that? Throw that ass up, man. That's the close up on there, goddamn. Throw that puppet yeah, ass throw up. That, throw that puppet ass up. <laughs> he said, you know what? I got to kill you. <laughs> <I'll never laughs> oh, you see, that's what happens. Yeah. You're obsessed. Yeah, that's what it escalates right, right, to. Right. Chased her to a fun house. <laughs> what? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> he chased her to a fun house dressed like her and said, you got to go. I will never be free until he I said, find out what's going I know everything about you, Dad. Everything except one thing. <laughs> no. What else is there to know? Take off your clothes. Oh, <laughs> shit. Hey, yeah, I told you. Right, this this, yeah. this thing yeah. took a turn. Yeah, it, man, exactly. it got awkward. It got awkward, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but, like, I was like, man, this ain't funny no more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It should be funny because he's got the perm and the glasses <laughs> on. But he, I'm like, Ugh. No, when that happened, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> this, 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 this is, this is kind of dark. <laughs> in his eyes and the lighting. <laughs> serious as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Draws on the floor now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pat ends up at a Ween concert. Because, Jesus you know, Christ. They, 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 they got hey, wings for the no, day. Once you book them, you yeah, you gotta use them. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. So Pat ends up at the wing concert and falls. <laughs> I mean, you just spit the head. That's so cheap. Oh, my. He's just standing like this. <laughs> I know. Wait, wait. Anime speed lines. Talk about, about, yeah. Mm. Talk about a goddamn fun house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. And draws on the floor. Had this been a better movie, it probably would have been a good chuckle because because <laughs> Pat is hanging naked, like you know, ass out on right. stage. Now this is a PG thirteen movie, Twitch, so I don't think there's anything to be to be offense, offensive here. But and plus, this is a this is a this is a fat suit with an ass crack. It's the, it. the world's worst fat suit. It really is. <laughs> it looks like paper mache. Yeah. So Pat is hanging there. They're hanging there, and the whole crowd, the whole Pat is faced to about uh, you know five hundred people who can see exactly what Pat is working with down there. So all those people got to see what Pat is working with. And, and cheer loudly. And cheer, and cheer loudly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's the noise. <laughs> <laughs> it falls. It falls. Because on top. And for some reason, the pants go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What did what, what Pat fall off of? Uh, a, sta a scaffold. Oh, why was why was Pat up there on this catwalk? What's they call it a catwalk. It was a catwalk. Yeah, it was yeah, a catwalk. Why was the Pat on the catwalk? Was that dude chasing him? Yeah, he was. Yeah, Kyle, <laughs> yeah, Kyle, Kyle was chasing Kyle, him. Kyle, Kyle was Kyle, Kyle was chasing him, yeah. and everybody got to saw, see what Pat was working with except Kyle. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I give up, Uncle, Uncle, Uncle. <clears throat> then perhaps you could just tell me um, if that naked person is a man or woman. Shows all the weirdos. Come on. No, 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 no. You sick. Just let me see real quick. No, we don't, we don't let you see, all right? <laughs> what? Come on, man. Yeah, this would have been a better movie had uh had that. I mean, that would have been a great ending had this been a better movie. Yeah, you know. Right. But and then, and then the movie would have the nerve to try to have a speech at the end. Oh shit! Yeah, try oh, to no. wrap up his love story with Chris. If you remember Chris, yeah, it, it, it's like we didn't have no story arcs to lead here. So don't don't don't, don't try this. Chris, you need me. <laughs> Sorry, Pat, I have to go now. But Chris, I've had an epiphany in front of thousands. You didn't have no epiphany. You didn't have no. a goddamn thing in this movie. No, you nothing happened here. Nothing oh. gets resolved. There's no arc here. And then you're going to try to have a speech about this. And furthermore, the movie just ends. It ends with them getting married, uh, Chris and, and, and Pat. But then it's going to... At, at, at a movie where Pat had no growth whatsoever. And then we're going to have this message about be yourself. 
Be proud of who you are. It wasn't until I took a long, hard look at my own life that I realized what I really am. An asshole! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you didn't learn nothing here. So don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this now. You learn oh, absolutely God. nothing. And it, it, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> In this movie. Yeah, y'all. This is this this is oh a, a well deserved zero percent on Rotten Tomato. Yeah. yeah, this this was horrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah, of all the movies we've seen, I think this might be the worst. I mean, it really I, I mean, honestly, it, even like like with the with the bad and the worst of the worst, I I usually even horrible. reluctantly get one a couple laughs. Not this time. I <laughs> <laughs> nah, didn't even crack a smile. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was just I honestly, Billy. I said I was mad at you, but I was like. I can't even get mad at you because it's not even really a movie. <laughs> it's just some stuff that's happening on the screen. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing's going on here.